The final destination of discarded steel drums is the scrapyard. Every day, a lot of drums are disposed as scrap iron throughout Japan. That number is a whooping 8 million units in one year. Of those, 6.5 million units are taken directly to scrapyards without being collected by us, the members of the Japan Drum Reconditioners Association. This drum is still usable. Ah, uh, what a waste. Something is spilling. It's dangerous if it's a harmful residual liquid. In order to protect the Earth's natural environment while making effective use of limited resources, we, the Japan Drum Reconditioners Association, are promoting the reuse of steel drums. It is said that an American female journalist invented the steel drum in 1903. It's somewhat unusual, isn't it? With almost 100 years passed since then, steel drums are distributed throughout the world, serving a leading role as logistics containers. About 25 million drums are produced in Japan annually. The ratio of new and reconditioned drums is about half. The main customers are shown here. These drums play a major role in the Japanese economy, being used for transportation and storage, centering on basic industries. This is cold rolled steel sheet. Annual consumption is approximately 350,000 tons for steel drums. Sheets are cut one by one according to the capacity. Sheets are rolled and welded by a machine. Please take a look. What do you think? As they progressively move on down the line, they begin to take the familiar shape of drums. New drums completed in this way are being delivered to customers filled with contents and then shipped to domestic and overseas. These are used drums that are now empty as their contents have been used up. We, the members of the Japan Drum Reconditioners Association, collect nearly all used drums in Japan. There are various emptier including major customers and small lot users such as gas stations and car repairs. Our collection areas extend throughout Japan. The collected steel drums are reconditioned at the facilities of JDRM members so that they can become useful in the market again. Let's take a look at the reconditioning process. This is the washing process for closed head drums. Deformed chimes are straightened in this way. The dirty exterior is cleaned with a detergent. Dents on the body are reshaped with a roller while holding down the top and bottom and filling with compressed air into the drum. Inside of the drum is washed by vigorously injecting a special detergent. This is a wastewater treatment facility. Wastewater is treated here using the natural power of microorganisms so that the pollutant level is below the reference value. This 
is the surface treatment in which old paint and corrosion are removed to apply paint designated by the customer. Very small steel balls are shot against the drums. The paint has been removed completely as you see. Causes of leaks and small pittings that are hard to see are inspected for the leakage with a leak tester. This is the burning process for open head drums. Closed head drums are separated into the top head and the body using a rotating blade. Drums that have been cut off are subject to thermal processing with powerful heat. Detenting machinery is placed to restore the shape and contour. The cut-off section is curled into a rounded shape. The inner and outer surfaces are neatly decorated with dedicated paint suitable for the use. A high-density polyethylene liner with excellent chemical resistance has been inserted. This is a remanufactured composite drum. This may indeed be considered the remanufacturing of reconditioned drums. Stainless steel drums are filled with food products and high-quality chemicals. As the cleanliness is important, the water with special detergents is injected to clean hygienically. Stainless steel drums are submerged in water, injecting compressed air into the drums. This is a leak proofness test to determine whether air bubbles are leaking from a drum. This is the final inspection stage. A camera is used to check the interior condition of drums. Inspection is conducted precisely to determine whether there are defects. Upon going through a number of processes in this way, used drums turn into reconditioned drums. The reconditioning has different variations and usages. After reconditioning, Drums are shipped to various customers. Unfortunately, some of the drums that are collected cannot be reconditioned. Therefore, we sincerely request customers' careful handling. Rough handling, such as dropping a drum from a cargo deck, is not good. If it gets deformed like this, it cannot be reconditioned. It's a problem if you put foreign matter like waste oil into a used drum. It cannot be reused because it cannot be cleaned. Please close the plug tightly after use. If water enters the drum, it will generate corrosion, making reuse difficult. Safety processing is performed for drums that cannot be reconditioned by cleaning their interior before sending them to a scrapyard. For the collection of empty drums, please contact a member of JDRA. What is necessary above all with regard to the reconditioned drums is the cooperation and understanding of our customers. Global warming due to the increase in carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases is a serious problem today. Amid this situation, JDRA have calculated the CO2 emissions discharged throughout the life cycle of steel drums. 
The CO2 emissions of new drums are about 39 kilograms from the related processes of raw material procurement, manufacturing and transportation. Meanwhile, the CO2 emissions of reconditioned drums are only about 7 kilograms. This is one-sixth of that of a new drum. If appropriate use is made, the CO2 emissions can be reduced more. Approximately 25 million steel drums are filled yearly. Of these, about 20 million drums are used in Japan. Of the 20 million drums, the number of drums collected by JDRA is 13.5 million. 12 million drums become reconditioned drums, while the 1.5 million turn into scrap. Did you recognize at this point that there are many steel drums that fail to be collected and are directly taken to a scrapyard? That's 6.5 million drums in one year. If all of these drums were reused, CO2 emissions could be reduced by 34% from the current levels. Steel drums have evolved along with the development of basic industries being used over again while repeatedly undergoing cleaning, repair and remanufacturing. Currently, the 86 JDRM member companies across the country are working together to promote the reuse of steel drums for the formation of a recycling-oriented society. To that end, we are making daily efforts to further enhance the collection system and improve the reconditioning technology. In line with this, we have a request to our customers. Please give due consideration in regard to accepting thin drums and premature scrap of used drums.